it. <laughs> it's just amazing to actually be here and see all the students lining the hallways with the cereal up and around all the way. I like I've never seen so many people so excited about one thing in a long time and I uh, couldn't be more thankful. Our guests are going to be so grateful to actually be able to choose which kind of cereal that they want. There's like every kind of cereal that you can buy um, and yeah I'm thrilled to pieces so thank you so much. The kids have been waiting almost a month for this. We started at the beginning of May. Yeah. Um, just collecting cereal boxes and to see, you know, we wanted to give back to the community. With COVID and everything going on, we haven't been able to do anything out in the community. So we wanted to, Riverside Rams wanted to open up their, our arms and welcome as many donations as we could to give to the table. Um, great organization. When I called, Heather was more than ecstatic to have donations of cereal. The cereal is one of those items that they do not get a lot. Um, so we have collected about 550 boxes, so thank you to everyone that's contributed, and we made a huge domino around the inside of the school, and the kids were there cheering, and parents were here cheering on as well. What motivated you to want to do this? You know, I always try to do some sort of give back. Um, I'm an early childhood educator, and I've been doing this for many years. This is my first year here at Riverside Public School, mm -hmm. and I thought, what better way, now that the restrictions have been kind of let up a little bit, to, like I said, let's let's be a team let's be a leader let's get these children involved they haven't been able to be involved in anything in the last two two and a half years great support from every classroom you know grade seven and eights helped set up the whole dominoes it got knocked down a few times on the way um, but they were a big help as well